Hello, it's Guy here from GD Models. Today I'll be um, doing the next stage of the um, Tamiya 1 to 32 scale de Havilland um, Mosquito build. Um, as you can see, I've done quite a lot since my last video. I'm going to show you each piece and what I've done. Um, right, okay. Over here, we've got the cockpit finished. I remember the last time you guys were watching, I was doing the instrument panel. Well, that's all done now, and as you can see, I've done the machine guns as well, which were very simple. It's only one one bit per machine gun. There's no like, oh, and sorry, there's a little like magazine down there as well. Um, get a cocktail stick so I can point it out to you, my little pointer. Um, and then you've got obviously the ammo casing for each, and the ammo belt that feeds each machine gun. Um, and you've got, these were quite hard, I don't know if you can see them, let's zoom in a bit, oh no my camera, no, no it doesn't want to, well anyway on here you've got one, two, three, four, which is obviously the different um, numbers for each magazine for each uh, case also yeah I've done the stick um, a few little bits down here so that's as I said the cockpit finished which is pretty cool also you've got this bit here which is a part of the centre section um, this is only literally three, four pieces, no five, six, uh, one, two, three. let me count, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. So what you have um, is, this is, I think, the Bombay here, as you see I've scuffed it as well, so, um, and that's the only actual bit you're going to see is in here. I like to get it quite, I wanted to get it quite dirty in here as well. Um, but that's the Bombay and a little lens here, but I don't know what that's for. Um, so that's the middle section. And then we've got the sides of this cockpit here, which obviously, if you watch my dry brushing video, I'm actually uh, sorry metal chipping video these are the parts I've actually metal chipped in the video um, and then you've got this um, wiring loom type thing here um, I use some panel line accent colour in black to do the uh, little lines between the um, cables I've also just dry brushed this on the edges just to bring out like um, a worn look on the metal like on there as well um, that's that side and then you've got uh, down this end the other side of the cockpit you've got this little instrument panel here with a little handle with the orange bit there and this here is the uh, um, compass on a little bit of photo etch it sits on there and obviously you've got a few little other little dials and that along there um, that's what I've done in the past couple of days and obviously these are there's nothing done on these these are just dry brushed sprayed with XF71 uh, and then um, done the chip in and done dry brushing on it and uh, sorry dry brushing then weathered it um, and also we'll say there's a little bit glued on here but it's only like literally this little bump here that's glued on and then you've got on this side same again it's just weathered but it pulled here a little bit so it's a little darker and then it's just one on this side but that'll be primed over and you've got the other little bump here that I glued on as well so for the stage today 
what we're going to do is you've got these little lights, I believe they are, undercarriage lights, and you've got some little like rods. And you've got this little instrument panel here, which is quite a pain it was to paint, but it is very small, as you can see. Um, you've got the little red handle with the little brown lever and the little silver um, buttons there. And also... You would never see this on here, but this so far has been the hardest bit to paint. You can't really see it, but there's a row of buttons here, and a row of buttons here, this side of blue, this side of red, which are ridiculous in size. I had to use a magnifying glass to just paint them. And this was another job yesterday. This is the uh, gun sight, but this top bit here that's bent around is a bit of photo etch, but that's a gun sight as well. So that's all the bits. Also, it shows in the instruction manual that you see these little lenses here. These, there's three of them. They sit on these three lights, but I'm not going to do them yet. I'm going to let the colours in those lights dry for at least 24 hours, then I'll put them on. So anyway, now what we want to do, I will do the top side first, this side. And what we want to get is this. No, I'll do the bottom one here because it's the top part of the instructions. What we want to do is get... Um, the excuse me um get this little bit here which is that little bit of the handle and i finally got it but i got my new pot of tamiya glue so what we want to do is this here um has a little bit sitting up here which is this little lever here should sit sit um, on here somewhere just try to work out where um, that way around is it that way around? no I was right the first time it's that way around and then this sort of sits here somewhere Sits like that. On there, like that. And now, I think that's about the distance you want it. Maybe a little closer. Where does it go? quite awkward to put on to be fair this bit because it says it just glues on here but it doesn't actually give the exact location it's sort of a bit of guesswork is that too far too close now Yeah, it's a little too close. We need to 
move it this way a tiny bit. There we go, that's perfect. Now, this one, a bit of my glue underneath it like that, and also along the top side here. Like that. And then, once that's done, we want TS, sorry, T3, which is. Um, This bit here, and it's got two little nipple, a uh, little um lugs on it, and there's two little hole locator pins there, and that's it. So I've decided as well at this point, it gives you the opportunity of um doing uh, cockpit, not the cockpit, the Bombay, fully open, half open, um or completely closed. I've decided to go for fully open. But there you go, that's when that goes on there like that. Which I would say is the Bombay door. And done that, done that. Now what we want to do is put this down for one sec. Close that for a second. I know it's not fully closed. And I'm going to get the thick because you've got to run. I do two lines here one, two, uh, and now the big step. You sit together like that. So that's the half of the um, cockpit, the, the fuselage, sorry. And then now, with that drying, you've got down here at the other end of the um, Bombay, which I think is like that long. See where it is one end there and one end and along here. You've also, I've got to put this little contraption. Uh, turn it around. This needs to go on here. Um, like that. So, a bit of glue, but the extra fin again. Run a line along there, like that. And just sit on there, like that. And then you've got, I think that's, um, the other mechanism for the door, just say I come down. Um, I'm just checking out, and we've got to do this quickly. See here, you've got. I use a bit of fit. Actually, now I use a bit of film for this. There's some little lugs here, and what you want to do is it goes this way round. And it just sits down like that. And as you've noticed, I haven't painted that because, well, I've primed it, but that sits um, on the outer edge. If you look, that's not black either, and that's not coming up very good. That's not yellow, that's that's orange, and that's actually green. But my camera's been weird, not showing the correct colours. Um, but yeah, so you've done that, and now. What we want to do is put that side down for a second and go on to the other side and we've got a few more little bits to put here we've got the bomb site which is on this side which sits um, this way around up like that I'm going to use some super glue for this bit because this bit is actually a clear piece, even though I don't look it anymore. Right, 
Okay, what we want to do now then is get um, got tough deck. Run some glue on this bit here. Get my um, bomb site. And that just sort of sits on there like that. So it's got a little sight. And then we want to put the same on this side. Run a bit of glue down here. And that's for this bit here. And it sits like that. When it, there we go, find the little holes and then there we go, like that. And now the final bit is this little black box which goes on these two lines here. One there, one there. I use my new tweezers for this bit that I bought myself. And this sits in there like that. Little box there. And now what we want to do, like we did before, but I'm doing it on the other side now. Hold way down, one, no, I'll do it that way as well, like that. And now what, oh, that's the wrong side. Move him up the top there. And then we just push these two together, like that. And now we come down this end of the fuselage. And we want to put <laughs> this little pole on here, which is going to go this way around. Long that crease there build this bit like that and just sits on there like that yeah like that and now one final part goes here, this bit here, and you want to put a bit of glue in there like that and like that, and that should go down there like that. Um, just level it out, there we go. And there we go. That's now, um, as you can see, it's quite long, this mosquito. I'm going to move the camera away so you can see it all. But you've got the whole cockpit there, which is obviously quite a big build. Um, and obviously you've got the other size, side of the cockpit there, so it's quite a nice size aircraft. Um, obviously very detailed aircraft. Um, so that's the step for today. I know soon that I will be um, connecting the two halves together in the instructions. I think it's like this, not the next step, but the one after. And then I get to the chance to glue the fuselage together. Um, so I should be doing that in hopefully in a day or two. Also, keep an eye out because I'm just waiting on the master upgrade kit for the Kawasaki. And when that's here, I will uh, do a um, detailed kit review of all the detailed kits for the Kawasaki that I'm going to be building. 
and I will be doing a build log for the Kawasaki ZX-RR um, in the very foreseeable future. It's all here, all the paint's ready as you can see. It's literally ready to go. As I said, I'm just waiting on one more delivery and then um, I can crack on with that build as well. So, as always, thank you for watching today. And um, if you like this build, um, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day and happy modelling wherever you are. Bye.